everybody this is Doctor Who this is season 11 this is episode 3 and this is part 1 of Death to the Daleks now I'm looking forward to watching this one again again it's not one of my go-to rewatches um, I tend to watch later Sarah Jane episodes um, as opposed to, to to this one this one as I say, is not, is not one that I kind of actively go to to watch. It's been a while since I have watched it as well, actually, so I'll be quite interested to see what kind of comes back in terms of the story on this one. Now, it is only a four-parter, so it probably won't take me long to get through. I'll probably watch all of it today, to be honest. I am off work today, so it's quite handy. Um, and then I'll probably just go straight into the next episode as well. Um, I've already kind of watched the end of Invasion of the Dinosaurs today, so I'll have watched six parts by the end of this story today, so, so it's not bad going, really. Um, I'm probably just going to go straight on into this episode, so let's go. Oh, it was a good shot, that. That looked like it could have hurt. Lift you up. All right, will you wait till you've seen Tirana? I always come back from Tirana feeling a hundred years younger. Oh, the air is like a magic <laughs> You're never going to get there. Doctor, should that red light be flashing? Oh, it's starting again. <laughs> well done, you found yourself in a quarry. How's the controls already? It's amazing. Did you see anything, Doctor? Just fog. Only fog. <laughs> fascinating, isn't it? What's fascinating about fog? Perhaps that's what's put the TARDIS out of action. Listen. Can't hear anything. Yes, exactly. Not a click, not a tick. It's actually quite eerie in the darkness in here. Oh. <laughs> you just press the big button on the side. Well, don't worry, I've, I've got an oil lamp in here. That should be all right. Yes, that is. Well, it's not much flame, is there? I bring the light in here. I wonder if he still uses this. It must be perfectly obvious to you, Sarah, that we've gone ever so slightly astray. So sarcasm of that. Ah! That was a good scream. Oh, that's all right, it's just rock. S a statue? What life? Some power emanating from this planet to stop the TARDIS's energy. Back. Yes, it has. Now, logically, that power can hardly be of geological origin. So there has to be somebody you here. Somebody or something has caused it. It's right. Ooh, not really dressed for this climate, am I? <laughs> yes, hey, girl, go and put something warm on. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Won't go away, will you? Oh, we never even spotted this dude. Doctor? There's one. Doctor? Oh god, some of these rocks actually look like these cloaked figures. Kind of inside, close the door. <laughs> oh, Sarah. Oh, dear. <laughs> and away she goes. Oh, 
Yeah. It's like a beacon, isn't it? Drawing people in. No one there will help you, Sarah. I like all the little cool walkways between all the rock formations. It's really good. to notice it though to be fair. Sorry, it's been a bit jumpy, we tend to attack first, ask where it's something moving. That <laughs> guy just totally interrupted. Go back to our base, we can talk there. That guy's got such a weathered face, it's fantastic. Did you find Jack? I'm afraid not. No. How is it? No we didn't. He's not good. And we're down to our last pack of sulfogen tablets, Richard. <laughs> What happened to him? Marine Space Corps. Now maybe you'll tell us about yourself. I'm a doctor. Really when I jumped you. Back to the TARDIS. That's my ship. That's my spaceship. <laughs> I have a young companion with me, Sarah Jane Smith. And I hope she had a good sense to stay inside after I was captured. No, she's Where gone. The ship? It's not... Take me there. <laughs> Pass me the visual file, will you, Jill? We've got some pictures. Thank you. Fantastic building. <laughs> and as soon as we got within range of excellent, we had total malfunction. Oh, is that mash? The instruments. We managed to touch down without damaging the ship. So we can't take off again until we find some way of restoring power. Tell me, what's the purpose of your expedition? One place and another? Well, I am a little out of touch, I'll admit. The outer worlds are being ravaged by a disease. The colonists are dying in their thousands. Another 10 million men, women and children will die unless we help them, and help them quickly. The relief ship is here! Come on, quickly! The relief ship! The relief ship <laughs> I love how that guy just comes flying in. Did you see it? No, no, I heard it. I'm in the haze. Over to the north a little. He's probably making a spiral descent. That sound effect is quite um, unnerving. I love how one's like obviously in charge because he's got a different colour cape on. A judgment has been made. Death. Sorry, I, I enjoyed watching this part again actually a lot of things came back to me that I never kind of remembered and I, and I kind of the excellence I completely kind of forgot about those guys and that Sarah makes like a little friend I think at some point during this story with one of them um, I'm really looking forward to watching the rest of this story um, I'm probably just going to go into part two so I will see you guys later thank you